continue our trip to Negros Occidental by crossing the island from west to east over the mountains. A very nice trip with a motorbike, lots of curves. It's a Sunday and it's full of other motorbikes. Stop in the middle and here the GPS got crazy. I didn't make all this go and back. Simply the GPS got crazy. And we go back downhill to reach soon San Carlos, or rather the region of San Carlos, where we'll stay for the night after a short rest in this restaurant. <music> Here my motorbike is waiting for me in front of the hotel and off we go on the large road in Bacolod. But soon in a village I missed a turn and I landed on this mud road with all the recent train. It's really very muddy. Uh, the real road I'm supposed to take runs parallel to this road. So after some time, I stopped to check the map and realized that I'd have to turn left to cross over the space to join the main road, which I was supposed to take. But it was a nice experience. And now I'm crossing this village on a not very large uh, mud road. And I have to cross this bridge where the motorbike barely passes. <music> I hesitate before entering the bridge, but I have no choice. Or rather, my only choice would be to return all the way I came. So I take the adventure and the bridge can hold my weight, luckily. I don't have to go swim with the motorbike. And soon I'm joining again the main highway where I was supposed to travel. And from now on, it's a very nice road that leads me all the way to the other side of the island. Road allowing quite a good speed. Not very much traffic, but as it's a Sunday, lots of motorbikes are on this mountain road. They go there for, to, for fun. And it is really a very nice trip. The view in the mountains is superb, the weather is fantastic. This is a really enjoyable motorbike trip. You see here the number of motorbikes that are on the way. on the mountain, I stop in this small coffee place for a short snack. And on it goes, a little uphill first. And later on the downhill part, in some curves, we have people waiting with their cameras to take pictures of the crazy motorbikes taking those turns at high speed. Taking a turn at high speed in the Philippines is also always a certain risk. Even if your motorbike can take it, you never know what will be on the other side of the curve. It can be a truck stop, it can be gravel, it can be uh, potholes or road repair. So it's worth to always slow down before you turn around the turn where you have no visibility. In the distance now we already see the sea. This is the sea between Negros Island and Cebu Island. On the other side you can vaguely see Cebu. Then we stop in this mountain cafe that has a fantastic view for a short drink. Driving makes me thirsty. And here for the first time on my trip, 
I'm taking out my drone to do some drone shooting. I have very little experience with the drone, so the footage is a little shaky, but the view is really worse, the climb with the drone in the sky. As I said, on the other side you see Negros and all those clouds. Uh, sorry, Cebu Island and all those clouds. And now this is Negros Island. Turning around, see the mountain where I came down with the motorbike. And back to the view over the sea. I'm leaving this rest place for the last short bit of my trip. Once again, the road is very good. It's really amazing the effort they made these last years to increase the roads. I booked a last minute accommodation for $25 in this tree house in a small resort belonging to a Canadian. But the view is worth it, even if I have to climb down the steep stairs to go to the rest room. Morning, I see the sun set from my window and again a little drone fly over the sea. And back to the coast. goes my trip along the coast all the way to Dumaguete. I didn't film this area because it's basically following the coast. Not always very interesting, but still some nice views. And a nice trip with the motorbike. Turning back to the Mugetti. Tired but happy after this very nice four day trip. Thank you for coming with me.